plug it in in the first um, Right, okay, so make sure that you, when you do your substitution, that you substitute in for the right uh, variable, okay, and that you actually do substitute, not just write it next to the thing, okay? So this <coughs> y is going to get replaced. That looks like an x. That's, that's going to keep it. It's going to get replaced. It's going to go away, and instead of that, put that down. Instead of that, we're going to write <coughs> what that says, y equals 12x plus 3, okay? So 8x <coughs> minus 1 third <coughs> times y, but y is the same as 12x plus 3, 12x plus 3. We should probably take some notes. Open it up. <coughs> Open up and take some notes. All right. <coughs> that, all that, is equal to 0. The only thing that's changed about this equation is that we've replaced y. Property of a negative one third into here. Mm -hmm. All right, negative one third times twelve x. What's negative one third times twelve x? Negative four. Negative four x, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And negative one third times three? Negative four. One minus one. Oh, sorry. Nine. I thought it was four. <coughs> well, it, if it was four, it'd be four over three. So yeah. One. Negative one. Eight x minus four x. 4x minus 0, add, add 1 to both sides, 4x equals 1, divide by 4x equals 1 to 4. All right, we got half of the answer here, we got half the solution. We just need to figure out y, and how do we figure y? Plug in the value for x, yes, so 12 times 1 fourth plus 3 equals y. 12 times 1 fourth is 3 plus 3, 6 is y. 1 fourth comma 6. Mm -hmm. Quick recap, we, we have this equation that tells us what y can be replaced with. We make that replacement, a substitution, or we replace y with something that's the same as y, and we know it's the same because it's equation says it is. We replace y with 12x plus 3. Replacement is over, substitution over. Distribute the negative one third. Like all we do from there is just solve for x. There's, there's nothing new there. It's just like a multi-step equation. And distribution that's part of it. <coughs> Combine the terms, solve for x. Use that x to solve for y. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Any questions about that one? Number 15? Oh, mm -hmm. what it has to do with this kind of problem? If you did say the equation was like when you did negative one third, if that had negative one third x parentheses times one y plus three, what would you do then? That shouldn't happen. No, oh, I did it wrong then. Uh, because that, that would be like what I said, there's two things you should keep in mind. You should uh, replace the right variable, and when you replace the right variable, replace it, okay? okay. Some, some people get a little confused. They don't realize what, what they're really doing, and they wind up doing something like, um, They do something like, oh, I know y is supposed to be 12x plus 3. So we write 8x minus 1 third y times 12x plus 3, 0. Yeah, that's kind of what I mean. So what has this person not done? Probably? They didn't substitute. Yeah, that's not substitution. That's just writing this value next to this term, right? Mm -hmm. So we want to 
take something out and put something in its place. We're going to take the y out and put the 12x plus 3 in its place. Right? So it would look like so y is gone and replaced with something that's equivalent to y. Okay, something that uh, weighs just as much. Okay. Something that can be right in the same spot. And we'll see this. Next was 17? Yep. Yep. A word problem. Okay, so there's a drama club and they make $1,040 total from a play <coughs> that they put on. People in, they sell the tickets, and they count all the money, it's $1,040. Uh, 64 adults showed up. Okay, we got like 64 adult tickets were sold. And 132, 132 student tickets were sold. Okay. Um, okay. An adult ticket. Adult ticket is uh, twice as much as a student ticket. So much cost for adult or student ticket? No. It's more than a student ticket. How much more than a student ticket? Twice. Twice as much. Okay. <coughs> so uh, <coughs> two students could enter for the price of one adult. Okay. Okay. Talked about that. Write a system of linear equations that represents the situation. So we should probably have a couple of variables like. We can call them anything, but x and y are pretty standard. So, what can x represent? What about the adult tickets? How much they are? How much they are? Not how many that were sold, right? Because we already know that. Right? So, x should rep represent the uh, cost of an adult ticket. Okay. And the y should represent cost of student. We need, to write, we need to write two equations here, and it's good to write down x and y represents. <coughs> when you solve for y, and it's been a long time since you thought about what y represents, it's good to be able to go back and reference it. Okay. So, you see, x is the price of the adult ticket, and y is the, the cost of a student ticket. And you seem to have an equation you want us to write up here. So that's Aiden's suggestion. Somebody tell me why he didn't say that that's the equation we should use. Well, because the cost of an adult ticket is, um, the cost of the adult ticket, X, yep. is the same as um, cost of a student ticket, Y, times two. <coughs> two times Y equals X. Two times a student ticket equals one adult ticket. Okay. Need another equation, and probably it's going to include price, I would guess, right, or, or money. Quiz? Oh, um, 1040 plus 64, um, wait, um, x plus, um, 132y. Mm, this fails no. to be an equation. I think, no, 64 x plus, plus 132y equals, equals 1040. 1040. So instead of saying plus or yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. I'm but sorry. It, it could go so, around. what's 64? Six, six, the number of adult tickets. tickets. Number of adult tickets sold. And what does X represent? Uh, cost. The cost of what? The tickets. Of one adult ticket. Cost of one ticket times 64 tickets sold should be the total cost uh, to the adults. Right? Mm -hmm. The money made off of adults. And here we go. 132 students times the cost of a student ticket. Should be all the money made off of students. Money made off of students plus money made off of adults should equal money. That's me. And then divide by 64x. So divide by 64x. Well, that's no, that would be the equation oh, right there. Mind. Now you need, to, you need to find how many. Now you would need to put two. Wait, how many? Divide by two. Divide by. Wait. 
Yeah, two y equals x. So you'd have to divide by two. Why are we dividing by two? To find how much the cost of the thing is. Oh. If we divide by two, we're just gonna get y equals x over two. We don't know how much either of these tickets cost yet. So if they divide by 2, then they get y equals x over 2. Okay. Uh, you need substitution. We're going to su substitute one, one um, quantity in for one of the variables. There's really no work to be done here. Molly? Um, write the second equation as one th um, yeah, one thousand forty <coughs> equals sixty four times two y uh -huh. plus one hundred thirty two y. Now that's done. Like this x is the same as two y, so we take the x out. We replace it with two y. Same thing. X and two y does the same thing. So why not? 1040 equals uh, 128y plus 132y. 1040 equals 260y. 260. Uh, 260. And y is four? Yep. Okay, so y is four. What does that mean about all of this stuff? That the student ticket is four dollars, and that the adult ticket is two times as much, so it'd be four times two, which equals eight dollars for the cost of the adult. All right, so the answer to all the questions. The student ticket is four dollars, and we look at this equation, or we just look at this information, you know, this sentence. We know the adult ticket costs twice as much, so it must cost eight dollars. And we can we plug back in the check. I'm sure, it'll come out correctly. Good. I thought yeah, you'd take 64 out and only substitute for x. No, you were just substituting for x. Oh, so you just take x out. You just take x. Right? Never the number next to y. What's that? Never the number next to Well, I, I wouldn't say never. <coughs> let's, let's say I wrote this equation. Um, let's say 2y equals x. And 3x minus 2y equals uh, equals 12. Two equations, right? Yeah. Two equations, two variables. Mm -hmm. Now, you might be thinking, well, let's replace x with 2y. You could. But also, 2y is the same as x. And look here, what's this? It's a negative that thing. I can replace the x with a 2y, or the 2y is the same as x, so I can replace this 2y with an x. Okay. They're the same. Yeah, we can, we can test it out. We'll do 3x <coughs> minus x, right? Because 2y now is going to replace by x. 2y mm -hmm. is the same. Scratch it out. Take with x, substitute x in there. So we get 2x equals 12, and x equals 6. If x equals 6, then y must be what? Three. 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 Let's try it the other way. Three times, we'll substitute a 2y in for x, uh, minus 2y equals 12. 6y minus 2y equals 12. 4y equals 12. Divide by 4, y is? Three. Look at that, three. And if y is three, two times three, x is six. Okay. So I hesitate to say you can never do that. Okay, but it's not what most people the only, t the only time I can replace it is if that's included in the equivalence of the two things. If I had in this equation, like uh, 64x equals something, yeah. then I could replace 64x with whatever oh, it's so equal to. Oh, so it depends on how you just replace x. Okay. If it just says x equals, then only replace x. If it says 64x equals 2y, then replace all of it. Replace 64x. Oh, but if it's like 64x plus 3, can you just replace as long as the other equation is saying x equals something. Got one more to do, 19. Well, I don't think we're going to have to learn it on the form of the 
19. So this one has to do just a little bit of work before we can do any substituting. It's got a lot of work. So 3x plus 7y equals 22. A little bit of work we need to do is, is to make this system of equations look like uh, this one, where x equals something. Or this one where y equals something, right? Get x by itself or y by itself, and then we'll actually have something we can do some substituting with. Tyler? Um, so would you do 14, uh, 3 times 14 times 4? 3 times 14? Yeah. X. 3 times 14, x? Yes. Yeah. Now x can be replaced by whatever x is equal to. So you have 14 minus 4y. And now that's what Kyler was talking about. Right, Kyler? Yeah. Did you see the wrong showing our work? Hmm? Was he infuriating about showing our work? Does he seem infuriated? He's smiling. Oh, he's giving me a Kyler infuriated <laughs> So x can be replaced with 14 minus 4y. This equation says so. X is the same as 14 minus 4y. So 3 times 14 minus 4y. Now we're all cut up with Tyler. <coughs> two equals 22. Fast attract for us. What's that? 22. Thank you. And then we distribute the 3, three which gives us 42 minus 12y. Minus 5y, because they go 12y plus 7y, they go 5y. And then minus 42. 2 minus 42. Negative 20. Agreed. So y by negative 5, and y is 4. Positive 4. Okay. You might have noticed this pattern. Like every time I figure out what the first variable is, if I'm using substitution, then the first part was using a, an equation where. Right, x equals something. So I can always just take this guy, go back to the equation I, I used for the substitution part, plug it in. Right, so x is equal to 14 minus 4 times 4. <coughs> x is equal to 14 minus 60. x is equal to negative 2. Negative 2 is what x is. 4 is what y is. Somebody brings you a TV. Okay. So it's the most that you ever had. So the store has a TV, right? Yeah. And you give them the hundred dollars, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And now you have the TV, right? Okay. Substitution, right? One thing is traded out, and you have another thing. Sorry. If we were doing, if we just left the X there, it'd be like you gave them a hundred dollars, and they gave you the TV, but you just took both of them. 
Which is great, but unethical and illegal, yes? So you take out one thing and you get one other. You take out one thing, you replace it completely with the other thing. Yeah. Oh, so okay. that's why we don't steal that map. That's what? That's why we don't steal that map. Not a great place. That's why we don't steal. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought there was something else. No, no, no. It all goes back to math. Okay. <laughs> Substitution. Does that make more sense? Yeah. Take a thing out, we replace it with the exact same, well, something that's equivalent. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Lord. Why the x is no longer there? Because it's not. Because you're changing something that's equal to four. Yeah, just full mm -hmm. swap yeah. now. Yeah. Maybe we've used different words, swap or exchange. Because it's just equal value. Because it's just different find numbers to represent that value. Yeah. How did we find four again? Oh, you do the How whole thing four? like that. It's all from here. So we replace the x with <coughs> the 14 minus 4y, right? x is equal to 14 minus 4. So we put the 14 minus 4y there. We replace the x with it, and we solve for y. So we distribute the three. Oh, sorry, I'm getting very good too. Oh, so we took the four and we put it back into this equation. <laughs> now we we actually have like first we had a, a an expression of equal x. Now we actually have a number that's equal to y. Okay. And we substitute that back into this equation. Okay. Right. Four times four, negative four times four. So we get fourteen minus sixteen, and that must be what x is, because this equation says if you take a negative four times uh, y, which we now know is four, right? Yeah, that's 14. That'll, that'll give you x. And so we did it, and we got negative two. Okay. Did we check our answers? Yep. How did we check? Yeah. Well, the they answer into the solution. So you plug that solution into here <laughs> and here, here and here, and make sure that both equations are I'm true. Really? Yep. All right. Sorry. I will literally kill you. Later. Don't say things like that, please. All right. So again, we're trying to figure out, oh, what's x, what's y? These x's are going to be the same. These y's are going to be the same. And since this y, let's get it, since this y, and this y are what? The same. If these y's are the same, and this y is? x minus 7, then what should this y be also? X minus 7. Also x minus 7. So we rewrite this first equation, but when it comes time to write y, we're going to replace it with something that's the same as y, x minus 7. So x minus 7 now takes the place of y, substituted for y. And now we have an equation that can be solved for x. 4x, distribute the negative 7, we get negative 7x plus 49 plus 10. 4x minus 7x is negative 3x plus 49 equals 10. Minus 49 on both sides, negative 39 equals negative 3x. Very good. There. X. I did that. I did that to get x oh, by itself. Wow. So I did x yeah. equals y minus oh. 7. Yeah. So you found, you found x first. Mm -hmm. no, you, found, sure you found y first. Yeah. And then later you found x is 13. Yeah. Okay, so now we know the number that x is. x is the number 13. And since y is equal to x, whatever x is, minus 7. Then 13 minus 7 should give us 5. 13 minus 7 is 5. Yep. So, 13 for x, 5 for y. I got this one. Right. Now, this previous one, y was equal to, already, it was y equals that. It was done, right? The substitution was ready to go. But in this one, it's not so ready to go. We need to make one of the equations give us something to substitute. The first equation could be used, but look how easy it would be to get this x or this y by itself, right, Clint? Oh, so you could go ahead and just hit um, minus x. Okay. 
x minus x is 0, and so we have y equals negative 3 minus x, right? So we don't even have to like just change this equation into this equation. They are the same thing, they the same relationship between x and y, same solutions. But now it tells us that y is the same as negative 3 minus x, right? This y is the same as this y, because it's exactly what we're looking for. Y is the exact same in both equations. So if this y is negative 3 minus x, then this y must be negative 3. We solve equations like this just tons and tons of times. Right? We've got distribution, we've got to add to both sides, divide both sides, and all that. We distribute the 2, 5x minus 6 minus 2x equals 9. Combine like terms, 3x minus 6 equals 9. Add 6. Both sides, you get 3x is equal to 15. Solution, x is 5. Now we'll find y by using this equation. We know that y is equal to negative 3 minus x, and x we just found to be 5. So y is negative 8. Yay! I got that.